The movie starts and we are shown the year of 1964. We noticed a couple in the swamp, and people had started to visit, indicating that visitors are welcome. In the couple, the boy named Del proposes friend Sue for marriage. Hearing it, that girl is thrilled with joy. Then Del hears the sound of someone there. Hearing the sound carefully, Del thinks that someone is in trouble. But there was no one who was in misery. But he was Victor Crowley calling, Daddy, Daddy. Pursuing the sound, they search who is there and find a hunter. And that hunter was also there hearing the voice of someone. They are yet talking with one another, a hatchet decapitates the hunter coming there. Seeing it, Del and Sue begin to escape hurriedly from there in fear. But Victor Crowley also catches them. Taking the life of Del at first, he cuts Sue into different parts beating. Three of them were the first victim of Victor Crowley, and that night was the first one in the swamp. Afterward, it is shown that Andrew was the only survivor in the mass murdering of Crowley before ten years. Hiding himself in a boat, Andrew had saved his life. If he is the last survivor, it means Marybeth was also no more. Andre has written a book on the mass murdering named, I Survivor. Promoting his book, he has become the guest of his ex-wife Sabrina's show. Here we come to know that about 40 people were murdered in that mass murdering. But Victor Crowley has not been proved as a murderer till yet. Contrarily, Andrew was being blamed as a murderer by the people. He is considered a murderer till today. Then a girl comes on the scene named Chloe. She wanted to film the mass murdering of Victor Crowley working with her friends. She thought Andrew may help them. Thinking about it, three of them visit at his book signing. And their turn comes after a time standing in a queue. As Chloe starts to discuss the movie with him, Andrew's manager interrupts. Kathleen takes him away closing the ceremony of signing, Chloe is stood stunning finding his failed plan. Kathleen informs Andrew about the big offer as they have to interview going to Swamp. As a result, they will be given a large amount of money. But showing unwillingness to go to Swamp, he refuses this clearly. Then Kathleen tells him, this interview is going to earn one million dollars. Knowing about one million dollars, he consents. Taking a seat in a private airplane, he meets the other visitors. The Sabrina also comes there. Andrew knows there that Sabrina is an interviewer not another one and he is unhappy at all of it. On the other side, Chloe and her friends reach the swamp for a film shooting of the Crowley's Massacre trailers. Now that swamp was converted into the theme park. Otherwise, Crowley's goods are also selling there. They also meet swamp tour guide Dylan there who takes them for the visit to swamp. He tells that at the starting four years, people often used to visit here. But people do not visit here much as compared to the past four years. Because people have lost their interest in Victor Crowley, Chloe has known that curse which was cursed by dying shine to her nurse's unborn baby. That curse had bred Victor Crowley, but she is unable to understand how to utter this curse. Using YouTube as a resource, she discovers a plethora of videos in which people teach the curse. How it may be uttered. Andrew's private plane had departed while others were preparing their interview. They had to capture the scene of Andrew's first sight of seeing Swamp while coming out from the airplane. And Andrew was a fictitious character. As the plane is jerked, the makeup artist tells him not to be afraid. There is no need to fear, planes are not easily crashed. Exactly after his saying, that airplane is crashed. Among the seated people in the airplane, Zack's body falls down just in front of Rose. Seeing his such condition, all are horrified. They are still not stabilized, immediately they hear the crashing sound of an airplane. Dylan and Rose run to airplane among them while Alex restores the condition of Chloe. Rose's cell phone is toppled down in which Crowley's spoken video of curse was active. Further, Casey is trapped under the seat of the crashed airplane. Austin tries his best to pull her out but all is in vain. Going to the cockpit, he knows that both pilots are also dead. Meanwhile, Dylan and Rose also arrive there, and they all try to pull Casey out but in vain. The water was filling the airplane gradually drowning her. Dylan says that going to boat, he can bring tools. They will cut the chair using it and save the life of Casey. They all move outside the airplane. While Dylan and Andrew are nearly to move to the boat, they hear the sound of someone. Recognizing the sound, Andrew asks everyone to move into the airplane. Dylan was unwilling to go inside the airplane but taking him inside forcefully Andrew locks the door. On the other side, Chloe and Alex also hear the similar sound. They also move to the direction of the sound and then at the house of Crowley which was destroyed by rocket grenade in the previous part. And his house was used as a display with his exhibited tools including his hatchet and belt sander. 
they both feel the presence of someone outside. While checking, Victor Crowley immediately catches Alex coming there. Beating with a hammer, he distorts him and finally decapitates. Observing it, Chloe flees from there and Victor Crowley chases her taking a hatchet. While running, she reaches the place of the airplane but Victor Crowley was just after her. He smashes her head on the airplane window, and dragging her backward, he hits her on the ground. He thinks of her weight and moves leaving her there. The airplane was filling with water and drowning Casey. Suddenly, a water snake appears in the airplane and Kathleen comes outside having a panic attack. But she was unaware that Crowley is on the airplane. Then Austin comes outside for closing the door. As he sticks his head out, Crowley attacks by swinging his hatchet. And his head is fallen on the hand of Andrew after detaching. His brain is split apart from his head. And it is obvious the brutal way of killing puts him into death. Getting the cell phone's signals, Kathleen is able to contact the police. Before telling anything, Crowley detaches her hand, killing pathetically. Then he also ends Chloe crumbling his face. While Casey is ended while drowning in great suffering, seeing her suffering before their eyes, no one could help her. There is a controversy between Andrew and Sabrina. She claims Kathleen lied, claiming that only $25,000 was offered for the interview. Immediately, the dead body of Kathleen is fallen on the airplane window having a cell phone in the hand which was ringing. Rosa takes her phone, but it stops ringing at the time of the take. They cannot contact anyone because of the security code of mobile. Then Crowley begins to cut the airplane with his belt sander. He touches the electric wires of the airplane fortunately as a result the electric system of the airplane is activated. Dylan tells others as if there is still an electric system active in the jet, they can enable the jet engine to work. And they can finish Crowley dragging him in the turbine. And going to the pilot cockpit, he tries to make the engine. On the other side, Victor Crowley enters the airplane cutting it but he finds no one. The entering place of water is used as an exit by them for escape. Sending other people and saving Dylan, Andrew becomes pursued for Crowley. There is a quarrel between Sabrina and Rose. And Sabrina runs from there after snatching the cell phone. Hearing their voices, Crowley reaches there. But climbing up the tree, Rose secures her life. Anyhow Sabrina reaches near the boat without key. At the same time, Victor Crowley also reached there. She hides herself for saving her life. But the cell phone starts ringing in her hand. She immediately switches off the cell phone. But all is in vain. It is too late so she becomes the victim of Crowley. Further, Dylan is able to start the engine of the airplane. Until that time, Andrew had also reached there. Then they notice Rose coming towards them. But Victor Crowley is also after her. Catching Rose, he brings his hatchet out to kill her. Andrew had a gun in the airplane which he used to shoot Victor Crowley. Picking up his hatchet, Rose tries to finish him with it. Andrew again fires with gun but his shooting target is missed at this time. Now it's Dylan's turn to kill Crowley, who enters the turbine and takes him. Dylan is forced to die there, and both are devastated. But getting rid of the Victor Crowley monster was not easy. But we know there was someone who was observing everything. She was Mary Beth, who was ready to kill him lifting her gun. And the movie also ends here with it.